coming up. An officer-involved shooting has deputies looking for a gunman in Georgia. Emergency crews say a new cell phone program can help them save your life, and the community reaches out to abuse children. This is NBC 26 News at 11. Now, meteorologist Brooke Foster with your WAGT Storm Tracker forecast. Well, it was a very hot day across Georgia, Carolina. Temperatures today were in the upper 90s. We reached a high of around 99 degrees, so it was very hot. It was mainly dry, although we did see a few spotty showers and thunderstorms that developed later on in the day. But looking at Storm Tracker Live right now, we are not seeing any showers across the region. So it looks like a pretty dry night is in store. Your no-wake forecast for tonight. Temperature-wise, we will mainly stay in the 80s with just a few clouds. A morning low tomorrow of around 76 degrees, so it will be a mild start. A mix of sun and clouds and then a few storms for your afternoon hours. But temperature-wise, we will only reach into the mid-90s. Cooler temperatures, though, are in the forecast. We'll take a complete look at that in just a bit. Live from Georgia Carolina's news leader, this is WAGT News at 11. One man is in jail. Police are looking for another. They say shot at a sheriff's deputy in Georgia. Good evening. I'm Tracy Atwood. Thank you for joining us. The, it happened at a gas station near a shopping center yesterday in Cobb County. Police say the men fired at the officer as he approached their car. Tracy Martinez has more from Austell, Georgia. Still scouring the area for 20-year-old Darren Richardson, the suspected trigger man. A man police think is his older brother, 27-year-old Davin Richardson, was picked up just before 10 o'clock. As of right now, we're seeking an aggravated assault charge on Darren Richardson uh, for shooting our officer twice and his brother Davin. We're also seeking a warrant for him. Right now, I believe it's going to be some kind of battery charge. A Cobb County patrolman they aren't identifying yet was called to this BP station at the corner of Austell Road and the East-West Connector. A gas station employee called 911 because two men were sitting inside this white vehicle for a suspiciously long time. When police asked the two men to get out of the vehicle, they say Darren Richardson shot at and hit the officer. The two men then took off on foot running through a busy strip mall, then through the Alta Mills apartments. Jerry Wingfield saw police storm by fully armed. It was kind of startling just seeing them run through with the guns and everything. An army of officers and deputies converged on the area, setting up a huge perimeter on almost every corner. From the sky, a chopper with an armed officer inside searched the wooded areas in back of the mall. Almost five hours later, the manpower paid off. One of the Richardsons spotted and then picked up by a Cobb County deputy. The Cobb County Sheriff's Office says the deputy has been released from the Atlanta Medical Center and is doing okay tonight. A new cell phone program is getting good reviews for the lives it can save in Georgia, Carolina. Emergency crews say you can program simple but life-saving information under the ICE program. NBC 26 reporter Michael Butchner explains. It's hard to be prepared for the worst case scenario, being involved in an accident that takes away your ability to communicate. But it's a real life possibility and it could happen to you. There's a lot of times you do find uh, situations where they're in a public place by themselves and nobody knows anything about them. Richmond County paramedic Steve Fowler says that's a common occurrence he sees on a daily basis. Any information is good information. Um, if we could access somebody's medical information by Able, being able to contact a family member, that would be great. Now, a new grassroots effort, which originated in England, has been brought to life looking to do just that, making vital personal information more accessible to emergency workers when a patient is incapacitated. How? Through the use of your cell phone and the word ICE, which stands for in case of emergency. could be very, very helpful because, um, you know, certainly it's just another tool that we would have to be able to identify the um, emergency contact information for an individual. Dr. Schwartz heads up MCG's emergency medical team. He says having a contact person or family member programmed into your phone under the word ICE could save your life. Sometimes it's very important to get that medical information that if somebody's incapacitated, you're not able to get that information from the patient. And it's really key if you can get in touch with family members. And be able to access what they're allergic to, what kind of meds they're on, what their past medical history is, could be huge. Not only important to emergency workers, but important to you and your loved ones. In Augusta, Michael Butchner, NBC 26 News. 
And Michael tells us the ICE campaign grew in popularity in London following the July terrorist attacks on the city's mass transit system. An Augusta business owner used some football fund today to raise money for a child advocacy group. Kudos Arts and Craft Store hosted its first dog days of, at Kudos event today. Georgia cheerleaders, the mascot, and Bulldog fans turned out to participate. The store sold tickets for the event. Proceeds will benefit Augusta's Child Enrichment Program. It helps abused and neglected children find safe homes and temporary placement. They are such a worthy organization. They do so much for Augusta. They've been here for over 20 years, and they're not only an emergency placement facility for abused, abandoned, or neglected children, but they also like have child advocacy center, the and they and they provide a special court a representative to, to represent that abused child in court. And, they and the store's owner, who we just heard from, says she plans to turn today's fundraiser into an annual event. He's the face of NCAA football. Today, national football celebrity Mike Godfrey visited a church in North Augusta. Godfrey delivered a motivational speech for members at First Baptist Church. Godfrey is a former college and high school football coach. Now he's a full-time television football analyst. Today he shared stories from his personal struggles and professional experience. I think the most important thing is, you know, uh, it's not football, it's not uh, school, and it's not, it, but it's, you know, to, to live right and uh, to do the right thing. and. Uh, Gottfried is a well-known and respected speaker in the sports world. You can catch him every Saturday night during the college football season on ESPN. Looking at tomorrow's Augusta Chronicle headlines tonight, Columbia County's residential growth boom continues. Since January, the county's planning department has registered subdivision plats that would add 2,180 houses. Decades after they were forced into internet camps during World War II, 58 Japanese Americans received their high school diplomas at a ceremony Sunday. And the San Francisco 49ers were still undecided how to fall, honor a fallen teammate who died in the locker room Saturday night. You'll find all of those stories in tomorrow's Augusta Chronicle. Still ahead, the clock is ticking on the struggle to draft a new constitution in Iraq while negotiators raged to reach race to reach their new deadline. There's more talk in Washington of a troop pullout. Plus, an anti-war ad is getting no air time with one station in Utah. We'll tell you why. Brooks Storm Tracker forecast is next. You're watching WAGT News at 11 with Tracy Atwood, meteorologist Brooke Foster, and Darren Wernick Sports. We're Georgia Carolina's news leader, WAGT News. Treat yourself to the best values of the year at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event at Jim Hudson Lexus in Augusta. Right now at the Carpet Shop, it's Customer Appreciation Days. We're saying thank you with the biggest values of a year. Save on beautiful wood, laminates, and vinyl floors. And save on carpet, ceramic tile, decorator rugs, and more. Buy now and pay no interest for one full year. Free measuring, free estimates, and free decorator advice, too. It's our way of saying thank you during Customer Appreciation Days at the Carpet Shop, Augusta and Dakin. We're with you every step of the way. Need money and not quite sure where to go? United Loan and Estate Jewelry at 1040 Broad Street will loan you money. We are discreet, there is no credit check, and credit history is not necessary. We loan any amount of money. All loans are based on collateral, so bring in your Rolex watch, your Breitling or Omega watch, bring in your high-end jewelry, bracelets, rings, pendants. If you need immediate cash and are not quite sure where to go, call United Loan and Estate Jewelry at 722-1326 or stop by and see us at 1040 Broad Street. You know, it's nice having a real meal together. Oh, and there's cake. Cake? Is it a birthday? Oh, my God, we're going to do it. Oh, Happy birthday to you. Mm -mm. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. It's free with the meal. Every meal can be special when you bring back dinner and dessert. Pick up any family meal with eight or more pieces of freshly cooked KFC chicken, home-style sides, and biscuits, and you'll get a delicious double chocolate chip cake for free. Bring back dinner and dessert at KFC. And for lunch, don't forget the 99-cent KFC snacker. 
Georgia Carolina logs on to WAGT.com for more local news, weather, and sports 24-7. Log on to WAGT.com. Now, meteorologist Brooke Foster with your WAGT Storm Tracker forecast. It was a very nice day across Georgia, Carolina, and it's still a pretty nice night. Storm Tracker Live not showing any shower activity, so a very dry night is in store. A pretty mild night is in store. Now, although we are not seeing any showers on the radar right now, we did see a few showers that developed in the afternoon hours, but other than that, it was a mainly clear day. Not a lot of cloud cover, but in the afternoon, that's when we started to see a few showers developing around Barnwell. They did see a pretty brief downpour and several flashes of lightning, but other than that, it was a pretty good day. It was a hot day with temperatures in the upper 90s. Heat index today anywhere from 100 to 110. Now, the good news is tonight lows will fall back into the 70s. 76 for an overnight low in Augusta as well as Columbia. It will be a pretty mild night, 79 degrees tonight for a low in Savannah. Tomorrow, temperatures not quite as warm, but still on the warm side and well above average for this time of year. An expected high around 94 in Augusta and Columbia, 93 tomorrow in Greenville. Temperature-wise today, we climbed into the upper 90s and we're still pretty warm. It is 80 degrees right now in downtown Augusta. Dew point at around 75. Relative humidity, 84%. Our high temperature today was 99 degrees. This is 9 degrees above where we should be for this time of year, but it could be worse. Our record was set back in 1983 with a record high of around 108, so it was pretty cool compared to that. But tomorrow, temperature-wise, we are going to cool down just a little bit. We do have a cold front that is going to start to approach our area, but it is going to be a bit delayed. It does look like it will stall out right around us, and that will give us an increased chance for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms over the next several days. But it does look like it is going to dry up as we make our way into the second half of the work week. But until then, looking for a pretty mild night across Georgia, Carolina. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. A few clouds around the area. Wind out of the northeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 76 for an overnight low in Augusta as well as 8. 74 in Barnwell tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures back into the 90s. Looking for 94 in Augusta, 93 Martinez in Waynesboro, 95 degrees tomorrow in Aiken. Mix of sun and clouds in your forecast, and then that chance for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms developing in the second half of your day. The wind, though, will be fairly light coming out of the northeast. Now your healthy living forecast for Monday, UV index is very high, that is at an 8. So if you are going to be outdoors, make sure you throw on some sunscreen and the air quality will be moderate, so you may want to li limit your time outdoors. Temperature-wise, we will start to cool off just slightly with our highs reaching into the upper 80s, 88 for a high on Wednesday as well as Thursday. Anywhere for a, from a 30 to 40 percent chance that we could see some showers and thunderstorms for the first half of your week and then they become Few and far between as we make our way into the weekend, looking for highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Lots of sunshine Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But until we get there, we're going to have to deal with one more hot day with temperatures in the mid-90s and the heat index around 100 to 105 tomorrow. But still plenty of sunshine and then a few showers and then the cooler temperatures. Looks like there's some relief in sight, though. A Thanks, little Bert. bit of relief. All right, thank mm -hmm. you. Well, coming up, negotiators are up against a new deadline to draft a new constitution in Iraq. Meanwhile, there's new talk in Washington over how long troops will continue to serve. Here's a sprint shot of the day. Send your picture to newshot at wagt.com. Checkers for our new homestyle country chicken sandwich, now just 99 cents. It's as good as it gets. All white meat country chicken, just 99 cents. So go to Checkers, because you gotta eat. You gotta eat. <laughs> Visit your Augusta area Jaguar dealer today for exceptional lease and finance offers. Whew. It is really hot down here. Mom! Mom! You're not wolfing down jalapenos again, are you? 
Yeah, because let me tell you about my friend Ned. His mama ate nothing but spicy foods. Homeboy came out red, Ma. Bright red. So if you keep cramming those peppers down your neck, <laughs> I might just camp out in the corner here till I'm like 10. Hardy's new spicy barbecue thick burger with crispy jalapenos. It ain't for babies. What can Ford offer you that the competition can't? More selection, more savings, more great deals. The Ford family plan has been extended. Right now, get the same low price Ford employees pay. Plus an extra 3,000 cash back on an 05 Ford F-150. That's 15270 for America's highest ranked light duty full size pickup in initial quality. But hurry, it all ends September 6th. This portion of news brought to you by Subway. Toasted subs are now available at Subway restaurants. Subway, eat fresh. You're watching Georgia Carolina's news leader. Time is running out for negotiators working on a draft constitution in Iraq. Meanwhile, there's ta more talk in Washington on how long U.S. troops will serve there. Jennifer Johnson has more from Washington. Iraqi women protesting the proposed constitution, saying it will leave them with no voice. Sunni negotiators, too, are calling on the international community to block the draft, fearing it gives too much power to the Shiite majority. The deadline is Monday, and U.S. diplomats are racing to broker a deal. A deal some say is critical to bringing peace to Iraq. This constitution, this document, if they can come to agreement, and a consensus on it will be something to rally people. As insurgents continue their campaign of terror, many U.S. lawmakers are concerned about what a top U.S. general said this weekend, that the Army is considering keeping 100,000 U.S. soldiers in Iraq for four more years. I don't know where he's going to get the troops. He'll destroy our National Guard. He'll destroy our reserves. I mean, we're in trouble right now. Some lawmakers are demanding a target date for U.S. troop withdrawal. We cannot stay there till the very last insurgent is killed. We would be there for 100 years. Even some Iraqi citizens say they want U.S. troops out as soon as possible. Continuation of the invasion inside Iraq is something that is totally rejected by Iraqis. We are being humiliated every day in the streets by the soldiers, by the tanks. Late Sunday, the White House released a statement saying U.S. troops will complete their mission in Iraq and that quitting now wouldn't help anyone except the terrorist killers. President Bush will speak to worried Americans about the United States' future role in Iraq in two speeches this week, the first on Monday at the Veterans of Foreign Wars Convention in Salt Lake City. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News. Washington. A new anti-war ad has been dropped from the air by a television station in Salt Lake City, Utah. The ad was paid for by Cindy Sheehan, the woman who was camped outside of President Bush's Texas ranch in protest. In it, Sheehan calls Bush a liar and demands he brings troop home, troops home from Iraq. An ABC affiliate in Salt Lake pulled the ad saying it would offend viewers. Wrong about the weapons of mass destruction. You are wrong about the link between Iraq and Al-Qaeda. You lied to us. And because of your lies, my son died. Sheehan is home in California attending her sick mother. She's announced plans to return to her protest as soon as possible. Darren's up next with sports. Coming up Monday morning on WAGT News Today. I'm Bridget Williams. I've been Piney. Painful joints keep many people from enjoying physical activity. But we'll show you a treatment that's making things easier for sufferers. Plus, get ready to say goodbye to cellulite with a few shots. A controversial procedure from Europe is now being done here in the United States. And a look ahead at the week's weather. I'll have Georgia Carolina's most accurate forecast to get you out the door. Monday morning starting at 5 a.m. on WAGT News Today. I'm looking for the new mesquite chicken sandwich. I thought I might find you here. I can't resist that smoky taste of mesquite glazed on those strips of chicken or them fresh veggies, cheese, and all them fresh baked breads to choose from. When it comes to the smoky taste of mesquite, you're the most wanted sandwich in town. 
For limited time, Lincoln Mercury is extending our invitation to pay the same low prices our employees and their families pay. The Lincoln Mercury Family Plan. Through September 6th, you'll get our discounts on every 2005 Lincoln, including Navigator, the midsize Aviator, the sporty Lincoln LS, and Town Car. Now drive the 2005 Navigator for a family plan price as low as $42,133. No hassles, no gimmicks. From the Lincoln Mercury family to the American family, welcome. Kick it. Go to Checkers for our new homestyle country chicken sandwich. Now just 99 cents. It's as good as it gets. All white meat country chicken, just 99 cents. Go. So go to Checkers, because you got to eat. Go, go. You got to eat. <laughs> this portion of WAGT News is brought to you by your Lexus dealer and the new GS. Visit Lexus.com for more information. Now, from Georgia Carolina's news leader, WAGT News, Darren Wernig with sports. Oh, there it is. Call this one Survivor, Vaughn Taylor. Yeah, that was Vaughn Taylor's first PGA Tour win at last year's Reno Tahoe Open. As for this year's version, Taylor was in position entering the final round to break the tournament's 72-hole record. And even if he shot even par, Taylor would still break the mark by four shots. It wouldn't come easy, though, on at number 10 in the sand. His shot hits the top of the grass and rolls back in. That's a tough break on number 9, a 200-foot putt for Eagle, or at least it had to have felt that way. He misses that as well. He would still birdie it. Taylor's only one of the day in the end though on 18 taylor's approach shot here it's a beauty about 15 feet from the cup he would go on to par the hole and that's enough to win back to back reno tahoe opens today was a pretty uneventful boring round of golf but uh you know right now i'm thrilled this is uh you know what i worked hard for all year and uh you know it's nice to pick up a win again in reno Back to 21 under with another good birdie chance on 11. Not so fast. Meanwhile, at Taylor's home course, Goshen Plantation, the golf pros were keeping track of Taylor's every shot on the internet. Also on hand were several Taylor family friends. Many like Dan Cooper there have known Vaughn for more than a decade. Cooper has some fond memories of the two-time Reno Tahoe champ. I asked Vaughn one time what the toughest golf course he'd ever played was, and he qualified for the U.S. Open when he was still an amateur, and it was played at Olympic out in San Francisco. Missed the cut, but beat a lot of the tour players as a, you know, a college golfer, so it was a, a, a good indication of his future. Taylor's win earned him $540,000. That'll put him in the top 50, and one step closer to next year's Masters, the top 40 players on the list get an invite. Tiger Woods left last week's PGA Championship, and he's looking to win this one. Let's go out to number 11 at the NEC Invitational. What a shot here by Stuart Appleby. Tough position, but he gets it to go in. Appleby finished tied for 13th at one under. On 14, Masters runner-up Chris DeMarco, and he will knock down the birdie putt. He's putting some pressure on Masters winner Tiger Woods, but Woods would manage to hold on on this one on 18 from the fringe there. This one for birdie it would not quite get in there that's okay he would go and get par on that one and win the nec invitational woods continues his great play seven straight top four finishes as for demarco this is his first top 10 finish since uh in, since the wachovia in may turning to the track tony stewart is trying to accomplish a racing rarity and that's when three straight next to a couple events jimmy johnson lasted it a year ago winning back to back to back in charlotte martinsville and atlanta NASCAR's big boys at Michigan this week, Joe Nemechek. He had the pole. Many cars had problems with garbage getting stuck on the car's grills there. That can't be good. In fact, it probably caused some overheating. Now, I'm no mechanic, but I did save some money on my car insurance just the other day. Lap 143. Stuart Kirby here rubs Travis Vapel a little too much. That's not good. In the end, Jeremy Mayfield claims the checkered flag. It's his first win of the season. Mayfield's victory bumps him up a spot to sixth in the next to cup standings. Tony Stewart still leads 126 points ahead of Jimmy Johnson. There's just three more races until the chase for the cup begins. Meanwhile, as we mentioned earlier, 
ESPN College football analyst Mike Godfrey stopped in North Augusta. He spoke at First Baptist Church. But besides talking about his faith, he also discussed what he knows best, and that, of course, is college football. Godfrey thinks new Gamecocks head coach Steve Spurrier will have a tough season in Columbia. I like Steve Spurrier. I, I always have liked him. He's one of the best coaches, a coach and a quarterback. So, but I don't think the talent level is where it needs to be, so I think he's going to have a rocky first year. Carolina's opener with Central Florida is just 11 days away, Thursday, September 1st. The Braves are about as healthy as they've been since opening day, but they're trying to avoid being swept in the series finale against the Padres. Scoreless until the fifth. That's when John Smoltz helps out his own cause. He goes gapping to right center. Brian McCann scores from first. Smoltz gets a triple, one nothing Braves. Padres eventually took over the lead, but in the eighth, Ryan Langerhans, he bounced it to first, the throw home, but it gets away. Two runs end up scoring. Braves go back on top, and they salvage the final game of the series, 6-2. to two. To the lake, Green Jackets and Charleston. This game moved to the evening because of the heat. Bottom one, Marcus Sanders on second for Carlos Sosa. And he drops a single to left field. The speedster Sanders on second will score with on a throw. 1-0 Jackets. But Charleston would come back and win this one 5-2. to two. And finally, the double take. It was the inaugural dog days at Kudos in Augusta. Georgia mascot Harry Dog was on hand. There was also a nice display of Super Bowl rings. Included was a 1985 Bears ring that belongs to William Refrigerator Perry. It's so big some people could fit two fingers through the hole. Now, Tracy, those Super Bowl rings aren't cheap either. Some of them cost as much as $5,000, some even more than that. So definitely not cheap. Looks like everybody's getting ready for football season. Absolutely, it's about Thanks. that time. Mm -hmm. All right, Jaren, we'll be right back. Stay Furniture has been in business downtown for 48 years. Come in today and see why. We carry Carolina bedroom furniture. You choose from cherry, maple, oak, and the brand new white suit. Excellent quality and an excellent price. State Furniture also carries American-made, all-wood, six-piece Victorian suits starting at $29.99. You pick the finish and the fabric. We carry it all from living room to kitchen and bedroom, entertainment centers, recliners and lamps, as well as metal wardrobes, storage, and base cabinets. State Furniture, 12th at Broad across from the Mellow Mushroom, downtown Augusta. Right now at the Carpet Shop, it's Customer Appreciation Days. We're saying thank you with the biggest values of a year. Save on beautiful wood, laminates, and vinyl floors. And save on carpet, ceramic tile, decorator rugs, and more. Buy now and pay no interest for one full year. Free measuring, free estimates, and free decorator advice, too. It's our way of saying thank you during Customer Appreciation Days at the Carpet Shop. Augusta and Dakin, we're with you every step of the way. Kick it. Go to Checkers for our new homestyle country chicken sandwich. Now just 99 cents. It's as good as it gets. All white meat country chicken, just 99 cents. Go. So go to Checkers, because you got to eat. Go, go. You got to eat. <laughs> what can Ford offer you that the competition can't? More selection, more savings, more great deals. The Ford family plan has been extended. Right now, get the same low price Ford employees pay, plus an extra 500 cash back on an 05 Ford Freestyle. That's 22,556 for the only vehicle in its class with three rows of seats that fold flat. But hurry, it all ends September 6th. The Space Shuttle Discovery arrived back home in Florida this morning at the Kennedy Space Center. A specially modified Boeing 747 jumbo jet delivered the spacecraft, and it was a smooth landing for both. Discovery was originally scheduled to return to the Cape yesterday, but weather problems postponed it until today. It sounds like we aren't going to have weather problems this week here. We're not going to have any weather problems, really, but we are going to see a pretty good chance for some showers and thunderstorms over the next several days. Tomorrow, looking for temperatures in the mid-90s, 94 for a high tomorrow afternoon, and then temperature-wise, we're going to drop back into the 70s for overnight lows, and then later on in the work week, a bit of a cool down, 88 for a high on Wednesday and Thursday, but then drying out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures in the upper 80s. These lower 90s humidities will be lower. That's about it. Sounds bearable, doesn't it, Jerry? <laughs> Absolutely. I Thanks guess. Thanks for joining us. Good night. <laughs>